Okay, so we're preparing for Leonidas's fourth tumor removal. Uh, what I've got is set up here at the moment is what I've had at other times. I have um, some syringes to be able to flush the gills. I have uh, the betadine, which is um, an antiseptic liquid to be able to uh, dab the wounds with afterwards. I've got my clove oil. Um, this is the clove oil we Aussies use. Um, I've got my dissection kit, the camera over there, the still camera. Um, this is to put my used uh, dissection tools into. Uh, this is where the clove oil is going to be mixed up in. And very importantly is the super glue. Uh, as you or whoever may have seen the previous procedure, we had uh, a threat being a bleed out and the only thing that stopped that bleed out was uh, the super glue. So we have a brand new tube of super glue that we're going to penetrate and make sure it works before we actually start the procedure. Um, and I've got the hospital tank here with a heater at 24 degrees, which is uh, basically the temperature of his tank at the moment. Um, I've got some spare paper toweling in case I need to dab anything. And I think we're pretty well set up. And this is, this is two gallons of water to which a fish the size of Leon uh, is going to need uh, 15 drops of clove oil in order to sedate him lightly. Given the nature of one of the tumours, I may have to go as far as 20 drops of clove oil in the two gallons that I've prepared, but we'll, um, we'll reassess that as we're, uh, as we're going into the procedure. So stay tuned guys, more to come. Okay, so I'm ready to go and get Leon. We're ready to start the surgery. So um, I've even prepared um, some salt uh, just in case we need to do immediate water changes with regards to bleed outs or anything unexpected. So we're prepared for basically everything. I've even downloaded a beautiful iPad timer. Fantastic, it's so big. Anyway, we're ready to go. Right, we are people. We have fish. Now, <clears throat> as you can see, the tumours that I'm wanting to remove, one is here where my thumb is, the other one is here on the tail, right there. That's the one I'm mostly afraid of for bleed outs because we have to cut a little bit of his body off as well. And the other one is this big banana right here. That one's definitely going to go flush to his body, as well as the other one on his body on his other side. Now, here is our last successful surgery where we removed uh, a part of his tail that was tumour affected, as well as his dorsal here at the back, right here where I'm moving, where I'm moving my finger. That clear part there is regrowth from our last surgery. So we know that this stuff works for uh, the fins, but we, well, I don't believe it works for the bodies. I really do believe that these tumours just keep regrowing and regrowing. Um, I have a spot of concern up here where his dorsal begins and there is no chance in hell that I would be able to do anything about that one except for what I'm currently doing to this one where my thumb is. So it's right up here on his dorsal where my finger is moving, right there. And that's been there like that for a while, so I'm not sure if that is even a tumour. So we'll just keep an eye on that one. But anyway, we are ready to be sedated. Um, and I'm about to pop in into his sedating tank. So he is a very feisty fish. So three, two, one, and off we go. Ooh, off we go. 
Right, we're in. Now all I need to do is dilute the clove oil and add it. So we'll do that right now. I'll get some warm water from my kettle. My kettle is my coffee machine. That's what that noise was. So have that in here tightly closed and I'm just shaking it about. It is oozing out a little bit already because it's very hot water in plastic. <clears throat> now the moment this goes in, that's it. It's surgery time. After 10 minutes are up. So that's pretty well mixed. And I'm adding that in slowly. I don't want to shock him because there's a temperature difference here as well. Not that it's much, but This is 15 drops of clove oil into two gallons of water for Leon sized fish. Right, so now we just rinse those out in there. Put that aside. Dry my hands and just basically stir the water and let him know that I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. This is crazy time for him too. So we're happy that that's all mixed through. I'm going to start the timer now and in 10 minutes or less he should be sedated. It's only been seven minutes and he's pretty much out of it. This is my fish, as you can see, he's still breathing. Right. So I think we're going to try now and I'll prepare him for that right now. <clears throat> 